Hey guys, just wanted to show you what I meal prepped for my lunch when I go to work. And I'll show you my dinner. So this is my lunch. Um, I already had like oatmeal and a smoothie for breakfast. So I have just a salad like with Caesar dressing. It's really good. <laughs> and yeah, there's just tomatoes, cucumber, and lettuce in there. I want, oh, and eggs. I was going to chop up some onion, but I decided not to. There's enough onion in here. Then this is just a leftover pasta from last night. I made three of these things and I made three salads to go along with them. So I'm just gonna pop that up. And then I'll just, you know, bring me like a plastic um, fork. Hopefully I didn't overdo it with the uh, dressing. And then for dinner, I have this pre-made smoothie. If I'm hungry, I am gonna take it out. So that, like, the yogurt, I should have put the yogurt at the top, not the bottom. That was a bad mistake. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator, and hopefully it'll be thawed by tonight. Hopefully I won't even be hungry tonight. This will help me to not want to, like, eat at the second job, because it is a food place, and you get free food. The first job that I typically go to is an office job that I only work three days a week. So that's why. Um, yeah, but at night... Uh, four days a week, I work this job, and sometimes I work both at the same day. Hey guys, okay, we are headed to work. Headed to work, guys. Oh, my wig is sitting so high on my head, and I'm really not sure why. Like, my wig is not sitting right today because my ponytail is too big, too thick. Um, yeah, it had been fitting good before, but my hair has puffed out because of my new growth. It's time for... I just redid my ponytail, but I need to redo it again. Oh, good. Of course. Just as soon as I am ready to go. Anyway, it is 3.50. I may be a little late today. Oh, well. I just... Oh. I just, I hate going to work. I really do. The good thing is that I don't have to go every day, so I'm not, like, burnt out on it yet. But I already, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't really like the job that much. The people are cool. The people are decent. Nothing special. No one that I'm going to be hanging out with after work anytime soon. One girl I did meet, but I gave her my brother's number because of um, some other stuff like a project that I think that she would be interested in. So really trying to not to wear lipstick to work. I mean, not to wear dark lipstick to work because dark lipstick makes you look old. So, I mean, lipstick in general just kind of makes people look older. Lip gloss makes you look young and fresh. So, yeah. I didn't even have time to do my eyebrows or my um, eyeshadow today, y'all. It's one of those days. I worked all day on fixing some videos, like some YouTube videos that needed to be fixed. So I fixed them for a company. It was my fault. <laughs> uh, it was for, uh, yeah, anyway, I've been working on this. It's like, I'm just really bad. I hate watching my videos back. I don't watch them back. That's why there's always so many like, ah. <sighs> Ooh, I f oh, and I found my bra. That's why there's always so many problems with my videos. A lot of times, like, I'll upload it and people will be like, Chinari, there's nothing wrong with your video. And I'm like, fuck. My hair's just gonna have to be ratchet today. Whatever. Anyway, about my lunch, I feel like I'm back at school. School was so interesting because you're in a controlled setting. So that's why a lot of the kids are really so thin, you know? Like, you, they portion out your food. You can't eat during the day. And then you get home so late that you can only have dinner, you know? So everything is pretty much like portioned out and you can't really be fat. I mean, there were fat kids when I was in school, but that was all up to the parents. <laughs> like school lunch and all that, it wasn't really just like making kids fat. Like, I don't know what's going on now, but I've just been seeing so many reports of school lunch makes kids fat. And I'm like, what? Are you sure? I keep getting these weird, like sick feelings in my stomach and I'm like, where is that coming from? And they're like, and it lasts like three to four minutes. And it just, it feels like literally like, bleh. oh, great. Are you kidding? Like, oh, get out the, are you serious? Oh. He just jumped right in front like a dumbass. 
Get on the motherfucking sidewalk, you dumb. <sighs> I really hate people. So let me just get through this. Yes, go, bitch. Oh. I hate people who drive big, um, whatever lifted trucks. Junked, I forget what they call it, but I hate them. Yes, I hate them. Hate them. I don't know them. I don't want to. I hate them. If, I, if a guy ever, person was all in my lane, I, I am not scared to use my horn. Do something. Do something. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I think I'm going to be like exactly on time today. Like, just like just making it. Yes. Whew. Now I have to go into the parking garage, park my car, <laughs> and then walk up a hill <clears throat> to get to the actual location. Yay. Yay for me. Yay. Hey everyone and welcome to today's vlog. I'm not sure why the camera looks so up close. Let me see. Okay, that's just the camera today. Doesn't it look really closer to my face? It's weird. I don't know. Is there a festival going on today or something? I mean, there's always traffic downtown, but today it's a bit... I have two things that need to be returned to Ross because I, I wasn't... The guy was going pretty fast, so I didn't know that I had um, like two... Uh, measuring cups I also had two uh, oh and then I bought me a another can opener so I'm gonna go return that and get me that and then I have one more thing so yeah that's like $15 worth of stuff that just needs to be returned like I said guys I'm really not trying to keep all the shit that I'd be keeping <laughs> in my apartment like I used to do I used to just like have a bunch of just random shit and I'm not doing that anymore because less is enough. <laughs> not more, just enough. Anyway, I'm over here drinking my little breakfast smoothie. We got condos going up and down. This is it. It's really good. Oh my gosh. The secret I'm finding out is banana. And these smoothies that I've been drinking, like, the banana is really working now. Before, it was kind of like a filler. Ugh. But now, the banana counteracts the nasty ass spinach that I drink in my drinks now. It actually tastes good. So we have a few things that we're doing today, guys. Hey, I have this coupon that expires tomorrow from Long John Silver's. You buy one platter and you get one free. So, I'm probably gonna end up using it. Because I, I, I love Long John Silver's. And it's very rare that you get a buy one, get one free coupon. You don't really get that many coupons from there. Does anybody eat Long John Silver's anymore? You guys, if y'all been watching me for a while, you know I freaking love Long John Silver's. Mm. Just thinking about it now, like my mouth is watering. And uh, out in Round Rock, over there by Sun Valley Road or whatever, um, is my favorite Long John Silver's. They always make this shit fresh. And... Um, and it's just crunchy and it's really good. So, and if you don't like it, they would just remake it without a problem. The customer service is nice. It, all Long John Silver's, let's be realistic here, look deserted. But, it's one of those things that just tastes really good. And it's seasoned to perfection in my, for my idea. Because it seems like nowadays you have to go to these small mom and pop places to get, like, real food. You know, I don't even eat out that much. As you guys can see, like, I don't eat out that much anymore, like I used to. But, um, I mean, I will eat me some Long John Silver's. That's, like, the closest I can get to, like... It's not the fried fish that people like, but it's the fried fish that I like. I like it. Even though the portions are smaller now, which is crazy. I always say, when your business is doing bad, don't go low. Like, don't go the fucking cheap route. Just stick it out and it'll get better. That's what I always say because they always want to get the cheap way out. So I think that business isn't that great. So now they're trying to do cheap shortcuts. Like. And um. They're trying to do cheap shortcuts. And so the fish is smaller. But whatever. I can't even believe I'm sitting here talking about food like this, y'all. I, I don't even need to be thinking about it. Um. Oh yeah, so now i'm gonna be having these for dinner let me tell you guys oh yeah i've already told you guys what's in it but just in case you forgot it's spinach strawberry banana lots of spinach because i don't like eating spinach salads i don't even want to eat salads anymore because I, you 
like um, I used to really really like salads but I just stopped drinking them because there's not much of a benefit to them unless you get a lot of greens in and lettuce is just like I think it's like empty calories or something but it's not a lot I'm not sure but whatever so yeah that's what's going on <laughs> mm. and then I put juice and ice to kind of like you know thin it out a bit okay so we are back in the car guys back in the car oik wig is bothering me so we're gonna have to do the angle from here today okay so a couple things have happened I went and I found my dresser that I really wanted at Ikea and it's crazy because I went in there and I'm like you know what I'm gonna get something that I really want and they had it on clearance like the display clearance for like $50 less than buying it brand new now on the site it says the dresser is $199 and Ikea it says it is $170 so yeah it's well maybe not 50 but it's you know it's, it's a lot off so I, I go and I measure it and of course I'm off completely I already bought it and you can't return it but she told me that if you don't leave the lot the actual lot with it you can return it so I took a big and I didn't even know that until after I bought it so I took a really big um, chance with this yeah I had to give me a latte because it stressing me out I mean the reason why I'm buying my furniture the way that I am because I don't plan on living in Austin for like much longer, you know, after my lease is up. So I've been buying things that I know aren't like super permanent. And if I don't have to buy that dresser brand new, I won't. But the problem is that it's already been put together. So that's the only issue, obviously. Anyway, I'm headed down to Long John Silver's because they're having a special today. They have buy one, get one free for their meals. <laughs> okay, y'all know. You already know I'm a Long John Silver's fan, so I'm going to go get it. But yeah, so I just... Now, the only thing is the delivery now. I was not planning on doing all that today. Today is my off day. I really wanted to finish some of my wigs up. Well, all my wigs are done except for one, and I think I'm just going to keep that one black and just call it a day. I'm not really crazy about the curly hair, like the super tight curl hair, but, you know, I'll try it. So, yeah, that's what's going on today, guys. Um, there's nothing like a latte and a burger. I was going to go to In-N-Out, but I changed my mind. So now I'm just going to go get me a fish, a fi you know, some fried fish with hush, pup hush puppies. And then I went and I returned, I returned some stuff and I got like 20 bucks back, which is cool because I'm really trying to save so I can, you know, move around and do stuff, so. I just really want my apartment to be in order, you know? Like, people don't understand what it feels like to not have your place together. It doesn't feel good. I can't even explain it. It just does not feel good. You know, I hate that like my stuff is all over the place. I want to walk into my room and be like at peace and I'm not at peace right now and it's difficult. So that's why I'm like freaking out. Like I really want my apartment to be together, you know, because I've been living like my last place that I was roommating at in Dallas, like I didn't feel comfortable buying stuff for it. So I didn't. Oh, and I'm not wearing my Jurassic Park one. This one is The Struggle is Real t-shirt that I got at what so The Struggle is literally real today, guys. It could not be any more truthful. <laughs> so I just text my friend to see if, like, if they're getting off at 5, can I use the SUV to do it? Because I wasn't expecting to do all this delivery and stuff and then after I got back in there they said the delivery was 60 something dollars and I'm like okay I may as well just buy it brand new and bring it home and put it together you know so now I have to like the end of the day my sister she don't never text back which is fine whatever um she has a, a truck that she bought a pickup truck so I was like well you know I mean I don't ever ask her for anything but she also doesn't do anything like I only see her like once or twice a year and um 
Okay, if it's bothering in the camera, then it's really bad because this camera has a lot of like <laughs> problems. Yeah, it was bad. It was real bad. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I went outside looking like that. I don't want to get a U-Haul because I called them. They have no um, flatbeds available. And they charge by the mile. That's ridiculous. I called Home Depot. They said, sure. Um, it's only 20 bucks for an hour and 15 minutes. And I was like, nice. And I can use my own insurance. I don't have to buy insurance like I will with U-Haul. So I may go with Home Depot. If my friend doesn't answer because... I need to buy some of these type of cups because... I drink a lot of smoothies and I mean there's no difference between a home smoothie and going out and getting one made except for the cup like if I put my same nasty ass green drink that I'd be drinking every morning like in this you guys would not be able to tell the difference I'm gonna need for you to bring your big ass on this big ass truck is going so slow. The things that I do for Long John Silver, y'all, like seriously. And I'm only going slow because that guy pissed me off and jumped right in front of me. There it is. There it is, guys. Long John Silvers. Yeah, I really should be getting paid, honestly, for all the advertising that I do for places and how many times people tell me I went there because of you, like, I should be getting paid for this, honestly. These restaurants don't know what they're doing. Now hiring team members, bitch, you need to hire fucking um, social media people. I mean, I don't understand. This is why so many businesses are going out of business because people want to be told about new things to try. Nobody remembers Long John Silver's. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. I was talking about Long John Silver's in a vlog, and somebody asked me, what is that? And then somebody else had to answer for them. Because I didn't see it till later, but yeah. Nobody's checking for Long John Silver, even though I love it. Ooh! Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I can get my Long John Silver's and go sneak in a movie. I'm gonna go do that. Wait. Did you need tartar ketchup? I uh, know. No. There you go. Y'all, I'm so happy right now. Look at this beautiful piece of fish. Look at this, huh? Look at this. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it is hot and juicy. I know that women don't like the word moist, but I don't know what else to call it. Oh, man. I gotta pull over and eat this. This is so good. They got a short stop over here now? What? I got four sides and four pieces of fish. Mmm. It is so good. Mmm. I'm gonna go put a little bit of ketchup on this.